Now that you have it all assembled back together, you do want to make sure that everything's free. Uh, go ahead and lubricate the center of this, and then the pause right here, right where the that hinges at on the paw. So both sides of the paws, the center, and then an inside spring there. There is a way. There is a way to send lubricant in there, and you will need that lubrication. So if you can see, there's where the spring comes outside the reel. That's right here. You can get your tube and then shoot it in through there, and then it'll come around and dis disperse throughout. So we're good. We're good to go. We're going to wrap it back now. You want to wind the direction that the rope would be coming out of. So since it's coming out of that hole, wind into that direction. You don't want to go too tight. And you'll feel that it, it'll stop moving. And if it pops, that's bad. So I can put eight feet of rope on there so you can imagine how many turns that you'll need to go. Okay, so I can see my hole is right here. I'm gonna wrap that back and match it up. Cause I'm trying to, and I'm gonna stick my screwdriver to hold this so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, what I just did is match this hole up here with this hole inside of here so that I can send the rope through. So put it through from that side and then watch it from the top. See, so you want to line that up so that your rope can come through and then you can make the knot. I have a special knot that I do. I'm not too special. Uh, I come around one more time and it just makes it a little bit wider so that it won't go through the holes. Ooh, she's a little feisty on me. Pull that all the way back. All right, now we are ready to let it rip, and that's it. I just put eight feet of cord, and then you're ready to toss it back on your mower and get back to work.